Well, here we are, Fairfield Lake State Park. <laughs> Well, here we are, Fairfield Lake State Park. It took us about two hours, but we made it beautifully treed spot. Campground is full, part mainly because they have half the park under construction. We're in site number 64. It is a 30 amp site, water and electric. We're not on the lake side. That'd be the lake side over there. But, beautiful site nonetheless. Asphalt pad with a concrete border. Pretty level, didn't take very long to get us set up. A couple of tweaks and adjustments with the jacks and we were level and ready to go. Got BB on the run. Man, don't eat the grass. I know it's tasty wild grass, but don't eat it. Somebody left trash in the fire pit. We'll burn it. There we go, site number 64, Fairfield Lake State Park. I'll have myself a cup of coffee, take BB for a little walk, and then go see if I can find a place to put a hook in the water. Not sure where that will, that will be, but we'll find a place tomorrow. We're gonna take a scooter tour. The last time I was here, I didn't have the GoPro set up. So my footage was kind of bouncy, but we'll get you guys some good footage from this visit. We're here for two nights and then heading back to civilization. Stay tuned. BB and I are taking a little hobble up the road, seeing what there is to smell here in Fairfield Lake State Park. tractor keeps going by followed by the gator not exactly sure what they're doing they got something going on I really like this park it was better in the winter when there was no one here but you know how I am I don't like neighbors but that's okay, We're, we all are entitled to enjoy the great outdoors. Fairfield Lake State Park, come check it out.
we'll see if I can find a place to put a hook in the water. we might go on a little stroll give you a little perspective on bank fishing out here at Fairfield Lake State Park you don't have a whole lot of options when it comes to bank fishing go over to the day use area I went over there yesterday and everybody and their brother was fishing there so getting a good spot, well, you had to have been there earlier than I was. Over here on this side, that's the edge of the lake right there somewhere. So it's kind of tough to get to. But I found a spot that I was going to fish last night. Then some folks rolled up, unloaded, and the first thing they did was head down this trail. And there's only one place down this trail where you can access the water. And that's where we're going. You really want to have some type of boat to really get into the good spots at Lake Fairfield or Fairfield Lake, whichever way it's pronounced. So that's the... <laughs> That cane is all the way around the lake. Except for the boat ramp areas. And right here. So that's the only open water that I've been able to find on this side of the lake other than by the boat ramp. I was fishing there this morning. Had a fella pull up to drop his wife off from the boat. Expensive boat. Lots of fancy expensive fishing equipment. And he said they weren't biting. Well, that made me feel better because I wasn't getting any bites. And heck, I was using worms. So anyway, fishing at this lake from the bank has proven to be problematic. And since the termite, termites ate my little wood boat, 
I don't have any floating options right now. I'm going to change that though. So quiet. I love it. As you can see, the two car limit per campsite and parking only on the pavement is not strongly enforced here at Fairfield Lake State Park. There are several groups that have a whole lot of cars. One group has got a, a used car lot going on at their campsite. It's just very crowded. Too many cars. And one thing that really surprised me was all day yesterday, I don't believe I saw a park ranger drive through at any point. So, in a way, it's kind of disappointing because one of the reasons I come to a state park is it, it's usually well patrolled. Good morning. Well, I went out and did a little fishing this morning. No luck. Apparently nobody's catching any fish this weekend. So I don't feel so awfully bad. Camp's clearing out. People are packing up all their stuff and heading back to civilization. It means it's the perfect time for me to do a scooter run. This is gonna be an extensive one, gonna be a real test of the new batteries. It's three miles from the gate to the campground. So I'm gonna run up there and back. That'll be a total of six miles. I'm gonna loop through the day use area. That's probably gonna be another mile. So I'm looking at seven at least, if not another mile or two, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Well, alrighty then. 
Here we are at Fairfield Lake State Park. This is Bob Berker, your RV guy extraordinaire. Got the scooter all the way to the front gate. That's a three mile run. Looks like I still have enough battery to get back, which is a good thing, cause I'd sure hate to call for rescue. Anyway, we're gonna go from the front gate, go see some stuff, give you a tour, a unique perspective of Fairfield Lake State Park. The Bob Barker perspective. Well, had a little bit of a delay. Had a power failure all of a sudden. Looks like I've got a loose connector. Fortunately, I have the toolkit with me. Was able to take the, the top off and get everything back in working order. No need to call for rescue. All right, we're gonna get our tour started. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you get an opportunity to come out to Fairfield Lake State Park, you'll enjoy it. Beautiful park. Lots 
of fish to catch. So I hear. I haven't personally experienced that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tour. Thumbs down if you thought it could use some improvement. Give me a comment or two down there to let me know how I can get better. Most important, click on that subscribe button. Trying to get to 4,000. Thank you. Well, been a pretty busy morning with running the scooter to the front gate and back and losing power up there. We're going to be getting on the road, packing up, ending our trip tomorrow morning. So we are prepping all of our stuff so that in the morning we can just go two different directions. She's going to head back to McKinney and I'm going to take the trailer to our storage facility. So we're just kind of putting things in order so we can get up and go early in the morning. Meanwhile, most of the people have left the park, probably about half capacity right now. And I think there's a few more that's going to be heading out. So it's going to be a very peaceful night, unlike last night, which was anything but. So here we are just hanging out, enjoying the beautiful park. Fairfield Lake State Park. I really like this place. We'll be coming back. Not sure when, but we'll be back. We are loading up, ready to get on the road. We are at Journey's End. Just so you know, the garbage is picked up on Monday morning at Fairfield Lake State Park. So if you plan on sleeping in on Monday morning, it ain't gonna happen. It's been a great visit to Fairfield Lake. We'll be coming back. Appreciate you guys watching.